Good day and happy Friday. This is Mission Control Houston. You're joining us live inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the team has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 31 crew members. Leading the Orbit 2 team here in the Station Flight Control Room today is uh, Flight Director Courtney McMillan and next to him is NASA astronaut C.J. Sturkow, serving as CAPCOM, he's been relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Aboard the orbiting complex, Station Commander Oleg Kononenko and Flight Engineers European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuypers and NASA astronaut Don Pettit there on the right-hand side are now completing their 21st week in space. They also now have the uh, help of three new crew members. Flight engineers, Russian cosmonauts Gennady Padaka, Sergei Revin, and NASA astronaut Joe Acaba, who joined them aboard the International Space Station early yesterday morning. They are shown here on the left-hand side. And now for a look back at this week in space. On Monday, Expedition 31 flight engineers Don Pettit and Andre Kuypers worked to replace a failed global positioning system unit in the International Space Station's attitude control system on Monday. The uh, GPS unit is needed for the impending arrival of the SpaceX Dragon commercial spacecraft that is slated to arrive at the orbital laboratory later this month. Meanwhile, Pettit and Kuypers documented their meals and took water and urine samples for the energy experiment that studies methods for maintaining crew members' energy balance and for counteracting the effects of long-term exposure to the microgravity environment of space. Station Commander Oleg Kononenko worked with the radiation payload suite Matryoshka, which is designed for sophisticated radiation studies and is named after the traditional Russian set of nested dolls. He also performed routine servicing of the SOJ environmental control and life support system in the Zvezda module, uh, one of the station's treadmills as well. And on late Monday night at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the Soyuz rocket with NASA astronaut Joe Akaba and cosmonauts Gennady Padak and Sergey Revin launched into orbit at 10.01 p.m. Central Time aboard their Soyuz TMA-04M spacecraft to the International Space Station. And on Tuesday, the Expedition 31 crew of the International Space Station focused Tuesday on preparations for the arrival of those three new crewmates. Pettit and Kuypers both began their morning with the uh, reaction self-test, a short reaction time task that uh, allows the crew to track the effects of fatigue on performance before moving on to the day's activities. Kuypers then collected water samples throughout the station, testing some of the samples with the total organic carbon analyzer to check for any contamination and labeling others for return to Earth for additional study. Kuypers also unloaded uh, additional cargo from the European Space Agency's Automated Transfer Vehicle 3, which delivered 7.2 tons of food, fuel, and supplies when it docked to the aft end of the Zvezda mo service module on March 28. Also on Tuesday, Pettit had participated in a session with the Sprint experiment as he conducted an ultrasound scan of his leg with uh, remote guidance from the ground team. Sprint measures the effectiveness of high-intensity, low-volume exercise training in minimizing the loss of muscle mass and bone density that occurs during long-term exposure to weightlessness. Pettit performed a uh, thorough cleanup of the overhead crew quarters, which are the closet-sized compartments built as small staterooms to give each crew member personal space to relax and sleep at night. Each crew quarters contain uh, lighting, laptop connectivity, power, fans, ventilation, and a caution and warning system. And on the Russian side of the house, Kononenko worked with the typology experiment, which studies a crew member's psychophysical state during long-duration spaceflight. He uh, conducted an MPEG-2 video test with the station's KU band communication system to make sure the uh, live views of the Soyuz rendezvous and docking would be available to flight controllers later this week. The commander also gathered treadmill hardware for return to Earth aboard SpaceX's Dragon cargo craft that is set to launch tomorrow and arrive at the station next week. Again, that launch is scheduled to launch at 
take place at 3.55 a.m. Central Time. And on Wednesday, the International Space Station's Expedition 31 crew had a shorter than normal workday Wednesday, going to bed early to prepare for the impending arrival of the three new crew members to the orbital complex. Station Commander Kononenko reviewed procedures for the opening of the hatch between the complex and the Soyuz spacecraft. He also gathered exercise tools for his new crewmates. On Wednesday, Pettit and Kuipers documented their meals and took water and urine samples for the energy experiment that studies methods for maintaining crew's, crew members' energy balance and for counteracting the effects of long-term exposure to the microgravity environment of space. The uh, pair transferred cargo from the European Space Agency's Automated Transfer Vehicle 3, known as Eduardo Amaldi, and also spoke with European YouTube Space Lab participants at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. Pettit and Kuiper spent some time reviewing docking data and procedures for the upcoming arrival of the SpaceX Dragon commercial cargo craft. And late Wednesday night, NASA astronaut Joe Acaba and Russian cosmonauts Gennady Padaka and Sergei Revin aboard their Soyuz TMA-04M spacecraft docked to the station's Poisk mini-research module at 11.36 Central Time Wednesday night. The trio joined the current station residents to begin a four-month tour of duty aboard the orbiting complex when the hatches opened early Thursday morning at 3.10 a.m. Flight engineers Gennady Padaka, Joe Acaba, and uh, Sergey Revin were welcomed aboard the orbiting laboratory after the hatches opened. All six crew members then participated in a greeting ceremony and conference with family and mission officials, followed by a safety briefing. The station crew members then performed a variety of post-docking operations and Soyuz transfers before returning to their regular science and maintenance activities. Pettit had worked with the SPHERES experiment, troubleshooting the reference clock. He also replaced a manifold bottle in the uh, combustion integrated rack experiment and observed some microbial samples for the environmental health system, the microbial capture device. Kuipers worked on the water resource system to prepare for water transfers and uh, perform flow measurements on the temperature and humidity control intermodule ventilation system, also known as the space station air conditioner. Kononenko worked with the identification experiment, which examines the uh, station's dynamic loads during events such as dockings and reboost. He also spent some time in the Russian segment of the station performing maintenance and monitoring its systems. Meanwhile, the newest station residents set up their crew quarters and began familiarization tasks as they adjust to life aboard the orbiting laboratory. And today, on Friday, Commander Kononenko set up the sound meter equipment and gathered noise level measurements when the, within the complex. He uh, performed a checkout of the Ms. Kuipers performed a checkout of the biolab glove box. Flight engineer Don Pettit checked the uh, power supply on the new image processing unit and removed and replaced the pretreat tank in the waste and hygiene compartment and transfers an uh, express laptop from the Express Rack 5 to Express Rack 7. On his first full day on the station, Akapa took some time for ISS crew orientation. He assisted Pettit with the uh, pre-treat tank remove and replacement and uh, powered on the ham radio in the uh, Columbus module. He and Don Pettit then recorded video messages for later downlink. Akaba made his first journal entry as part of the journal study and uh, participated in his first private medical conference aboard the space station. Kuipers worked with the energy medical equipment experiment. He inspected the uh, portable emergency provisions. This is the portable fire extinguishers, the portable breathing apparatus, and extension hose tea kits. He checked the biolab glove box seals and gloves and performed more troubleshooting on the spheres clock. And today, the newly arrived crew members will continue to adapt to their microgravity environment and become acquainted with the uh, exercise protocol aboard the space station.
Inside the station's gym, there is a stationary bicycle, a treadmill, and a machine known as the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. The Expedition 31 crew members will do some evening prep work before their evening meal and pre-sleep period. They also will uh, participate in their final daily planning conference before bedtime. The crew is scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.